Chapter 2, Section 2.4, Part 2 is going to be five practice problems be converting between the English and the metric systems. So we'll start with number one, and notice that we have gallons, which is an English unit, and we have microliters, which is a U, usually with a stem coming down the front, which is a metric unit. So we're going to have to use one of our two conversion factors that has an asterisk next to it because those are the conversion factors that get us between the English and the metric systems. So we'll start by taking our given 1.3 times 10 to the negative 7 gallons and putting it all over 1. Times draw a line, bring down gallons. And now we're going to use a conversion factor. Gallons actually happens to be one of our units that we can convert to the metric system with and conveniently we can go straight from gallons to liters. So gallons to liters. The conversion is one gallon, one gallon equals 3.786 liters. 3.786 liters. I'm now at liters because gallons have canceled. However, I'm trying to end up on microliter. Remember, liter is metric. It's at the base. So here's liter. And because we're at the base unit, we can convert to any other metric unit. Times draw a line, bring down liters, going to microliters. Which one is a larger unit? Liter is at the base. Here is micro down here. So we're going to give the base unit liter our 1. Always assign the larger unit a 1. And now I'm going to count from the base to micro. 10, 100, 1,000, 1E6. So 1 times 10 to the 6. Now liters have canceled and I'm left with microliter, so I'm done setting up the problem and I can calculate my final answer. We have 1.3 e to the negative 7 times 3.786 times 1e6. That's going to give us 0 0.49 microliters as our final answer. Remember to always put a unit on your answers. Number 2, 9.0 inches over 1 times draw a line, bring down inches. Now, inches is an English unit, so we're starting with an English unit again, and we're trying to end up on a metric unit. So in the English system, we need to get to one of these three English units, mile, yard, or inches, in order to convert to the metric system. Fortunately, inches will convert to centimeters, so that will allow us to change from English to metric. So 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters times draw a line. Now I'm dealing with my metric prefixes down here. We are at centimeter, and we always want to go to the base, which is going to be meter. So I'm going to bring down centimeter, and I want to go to the base, which is going to be meter. Inches have canceled. Centimeters have canceled. Well, not yet, but they will in just a moment. So now the question is, which one is bigger? My base unit is higher up, so I'm going to give meter the 1. If I count from the base to centi, I'll get 10, 100. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. Now my centimeters have canceled. I'm at meter. I'm still trying to get to millimeter, so times, draw a line. I'm going to bring down meter, and remember, meter is at the base. You can always go from the base to any other unit, and so I want to go to millimeter. Millimeter is here, so the base is my larger unit, which it gets at a 1. And as I count from the base, I'll count 10, 100, 1,000. So there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter. Meters now cancel, and I am at millimeters for my unit on my final answer. So now I can calculate. We're going to have 9 times 2.54 divided by 100 times 1,000. 
That's going to give us 228.6 millimeters. And round it off properly, that would be 230 millimeters. We'll be learning about rounding starting the next section. Number three, 3.05 decameters over one, times draw a line, bring down decameters. Notice this time we are starting with the metric system. That means we are starting here. And then we're going to end on the English system. So from decameter, since decameter, here's deca, since this is the metric system, you want to always go to the base. So I'm going to go to meter. Between deca and meter, decameter is larger, so it gets a 1, and there's only one step from, deca, from the base to deca, and so that's a count of 10. So my decameters have canceled. Now that I'm at meter, bring down meter, meter happens to be a unit that I can use to convert from metric to English. You had your choice between centimeter, meter, and kilometer, but we went ahead and went with meter since it's at the base already. So we can use this. One meter is equal to 1.094 yards. So meters have now canceled. Still now trying to go to feet, but now that I'm at yard, that's in the English system, so now I'm trying to deal with these up here. I'm going to bring down yard, and I happen to know that one yard is equal to three feet. So I can go directly from yards to feet because one yard equals three feet. Notice that yards cancel and I'm done setting up my problem so I can get the answer. So 3.05 times 10 times 1.094 times 3. And that's going to give me 100.101 feet and round it off properly that would actually give me 100 with a decimal place feet. Number four, we're starting out in the metric system and we're ending up in the English system. We're going to have 0 0.0032 centiliters all over one times draw a line. Bring down centiliter Centiliter is metric, so right now we are dealing with this chart right here. Centi is here. Remember, when you're dealing in the metric system, you want to go to the base. So we're going to go from centiliter to liter. Liter is at the base, and it's higher up than centi, so it's larger and therefore gets a 1. If I count from the base to centi, I count 10, 100, and so that equals 100 centiliters. Now that that has canceled, and now that I'm at the base unit, I can probably convert now from my metric system to the English system. Notice both of these have liter as the unit to convert to the English system. Since I want to go to quartz, however, I'm going to go ahead and use this conversion factor. Bring down liters, go to quartz, because we know one liter equals 1.06 quartz. Liters cancel and we're left with quartz for our final answer. So you can calculate now 0 0.0032 divided by 100 times 1.06. That's going to give us a very small number and we're going to put that in scientific notation. If I move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 3.392 times 10 to the negative 5 quarts. And so that's going to be, and I'm going to round this off to actually be 3.4 times 10 to the negative 5 quarts. One more practice problem. We have 4.28 ounces, which is an English unit, and we want to know how many milligrams is that, which is a metric unit. So I'm going to start in the English system, and the goal is to get to metric, so I need to use one of these two right here. Notice that I need to be in pounds in order to convert to one of these two metric units. 
So my goal is going to be to get my ounces to pounds. So 4.28 ounces over 1 times draw a line, bring down ounces, and we know that there are 16 ounces equal to 1 pound. So bring put pounds at the top, 16 ounces equals to 1 pound. Cancel ounces. Times draw a line. Now that I have pounds, I can now use one of these two conversion factors. It really doesn't matter which one. However, since grams is at the base, then that would be a shorter choice than using kilograms. So we're going to go from pounds, one pound equals 454 grams. Times draw a line. I have now changed from the English system to the metric system. Bring down grams. And because grams is here at the base, it's my base unit, I can go to any other metric unit. In this case, we want to go to milligrams. Notice that the base unit is higher up, so I'm going to give grams the 1. And when I count from the base to milli, I have 10, 100, 1,000. Grams now canceled, and I am at milligrams. So now I can get my final answer. 4.28 divided by 16 times 454 times 1,000. And that gets me another large number. We get 121445 milligrams. In scientific notation, I'm going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1.21445 times 10 to the 5 milligrams. And actually now I'm going to go ahead and round it off to have three numbers. So it will be 1.21 times 10 to the 5 milligrams. That would actually be the same as 121000 milligrams. So either one of those answers would be considered acceptable.